Hey everybody, Kirk Junge here along with Tony Griffin, my master instructor for Setup for Impact in Sanford, North Carolina. We're going to play a little match today here at Sanford Golf Club, which is a Donald Ross course built in 1937. 1937. So it's a nice little course and we have a little school coming up tomorrow, a three-day school. So we're going to have a little fun and we're going to talk a little bit before the shots, what we're trying to do, where we're trying to aim, um, for what type of shot we're hitting and so on as we go through. We'll try to get in as many holes as possible today, um, but we're going to give it a shot. So Tony has the honor since he's how old? 68? 68. And he's shot his age about 15 times? I don't know really. He lost count. <laughs> he lost count. So, uh, and I'm 58, so, so we're going to have a fun little match. I hope you enjoy it. We're going to try to go with that green building behind the green. Kind of in the middle of the fairway. So we always try to pick an exact target when we're hitting off the tee. And it's a little par four uphill. And it's playing about 360 yards. He is right up. Well, hit up the left side. It looks like he's going for some help from the road. I think I missed that. So, just got off a plane from South Florida up here to North Carolina. So ready to play a few holes before our school tomorrow. And I'm going to aim more down the left side than Tony did. Uh, you probably can't see the flag, but it's between the tree line on the left and the green building. And I always like to take a couple little practice swings uh, like I do in my drills, trying to get the same motion, the timing of the legs and body. And then I'm checking my aim as I'm setting my hands on the grip. And again, I just want to get a feel for the way I want to move. And I like to favor a little bit uh, the left side when I'm lining up. And when I feel comfortable, then I'll just go. That's right down the middle. So perfect position. So that looked pretty nice. So I have about so I have 86 yards and it's uphill a little bit. And with the uphill lie, I try to get a feel here for the lie and my distance from the ball. But I have the lob wedge out because it's a pretty good distance. I hit about 85 yards normally. And just try to get the feel that I want there. And then we'll go to the ball and repeat it. It's right at it. Be the club. I think it might be a hair short, but we'll see in a second. Tony's came up a little bit short. So I have about a 15 footer. Tony's down in the bunker. Should be able to just splash this one out and it should trickle on down to the hole. So he's gonna try to splash it out and get it to release down to the hole. Oh, a beauty, he made it. Almost. Almost, I'll give you that one. Tony has a gimme, gimme paw. So, taking a look at this pot, I can see it's a little bit downhill. The grain's a little bit to the left. And I like to just really get set up. I'm gonna aim a few inches to the right of the hole. Tony gave me a little coaching advice here. To me, it looked like it might be more break. And I'm just try, gonna try to get the speed right. So we're gonna go to the second hole. So we have a par three here. It's 180 to a back pin. A what? little bit downhill, but it's not enough to really affect the yardage. So a little bit downhill, a little breeze. 
So it's 180. I'm going to hit a six iron, short T. It's barely, so the ball is barely above the ground. And then again, I want to find my rhythm. Just looks pretty good. Right at it. Sit. 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 Oh. So I flew it to the back of the green and over. I'm going with seven for two reasons. Because he hit a six over the green and because I'm not trying to get all the way back to the flag. Uh, so I'm just, I'll be happy with it on the green. Such a small green. So a little bit left to the, Tony's a little bit left to the green. Okay. We're going to have a little bit of short game fun. We had a pretty good shot. I needed another foot. <laughs> I ended up over the green about uh, 20 yards. So it was a pretty long, pretty long six iron. And what I'm going to do is try to hit something because it's kind of a tough lie here in the leaves. Not really what I wanted. I'm going to take my 54 degree wedge and I'm going to play the ball back in my stance. I'm going to play it back on my stand. I'm going to try to hit a really low driving wedge shot into the slope and let it trickle up to the hole. So I'm landing short of the green and just try to visualize the shot, get a feel for it here. Just like that. Get up. Ah, oh, it just stayed short. So just a hair short. So we're struggling for our pars here. Okay, Tony's gonna putt first. Broke a little bit to the right. That's good, Tony. So I've got this putt to win the hole, and I'm off the green here, but the green seems to be going with me here. So I like it to go a little bit to the left. Yeah, oh, the grain caught it a little bit in here. That one's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the grain was, I think they had you, that's why your chip didn't. So we split the hole with bogeys, so not the, not the golf we really wanted to display, but that's golf. This is a dog leg to the right, fairly short hole. Tony's the smart player. I'm the aggressive go for, bra go for broke. No, it's match play. We got to have a little bit of fun. So he's hit a beauty there, right up the right side. I'm going to take my three wood here and try to try to get the ball to kind of cut up over that tree that's about a thousand feet tall up there. Well, it's not that tall, but it's pretty tall. So for a three wood, I'm going to tee it a little bit higher than usual. I'm going to see if I can get the ball moving to the right, cutting a little bit. It's never worked on this hole before, but I always hope that one day it will. So I'm going to open up the club face a little bit and then just make my normal swing with the three wood. Aim a little bit more left. So I think it just hit a few leaves and could be in good shape. Could be in trouble. It cut like I wanted. It just didn't fly as high as I had hoped. So Tony had Tony's here. We're both in the fairway. Uh, my balls made it through, cut around the corner. I thought it might have hit the tree, but it turned out good. How far do you have, Tony? I have once again 98 yards, and this this uh, hole is cut in the front, and the green has such a, a huge slant toward us. I really don't want to go past the hole. So he's going to favor being short. I'd like to hit it close, but even if I'm just a bit short, I'm satisfied with it. Good shot. Looking really nice. Perfect. Just on the front edge, just exactly where I wanted it. So, so I have 67 yards. 
to kind of in between and with the slope in front of the green I am going to take my 54 instead of the lob wedge so I have my 54 to re-wedge and I'm going to hit a low chasing wedge shot into the bank in front of the green and hope that it bounces up there without going past the hole. So I just loaded it on to the green. About what I wanted started a little bit left, uh, but it's going to be up there probably about 10 feet from the hole. So I ended up a little bit above the hole, and Tony's below the hole. So Tony's a little bit farther away, I think. But Tony's got first run, but he's got a nice uphill birdie putt. Get it close. Almost. I'll give you that one. So he helped me out there. I got to see the ball break a little bit. Um, I'll take a look over here, trying to see where I think the fall line is here. And that's where I think it's going to fall straight down to the hole. So I think it's somewhere in here. So, and because the fall line's fairly close to where my ball is, um, I only have to play it a few inches to the left because it's going to fall straight down. So the main thing is to get the speed here. It's going to be pretty quick downhill. And so I try to do that with my practice swings first. Thank you. I need to come caddy for you. Yeah, thanks, Tony. It's always important to have a good caddy with. So I have my new caddy, Tony. Birdie, bogey birdie. Funny how I read the putts a lot better for someone else than I do myself. Yeah, all I had to do is get it started yeah. on the right line, and then gravity did its thing, so it rolled pretty straight down there. So it's a little bit downhill, par three. We skipped ahead to the sixth hole because of some slow players ahead of us. That's one thing here on a public course is you do get some people uh, that are new to the game and take a little bit longer to play. And so this is our fourth hole, which is number six, playing 119. And it's downhill with the pin in the front of the green. I try again, trying to get a feel for making good contact. If we can lay, lay one right on the fly. Just off the right front edge. It's a little bit afraid of hitting it too far. 52 degree wedge here. I normally hit it about 115-ish. And since it's a little down here and we're saying 120, I think it should get there if I hit it well. I think that's a little heavy. It's probably going to be a hair short. That's right. Much, Very nice. So he's about six feet, looks like six or eight feet from here. We'll see when we get down there, but good shot. So good shot, Tony. So here I'm going to look at the lie. I have a really tight lie. So it looks like I have a little bit into the green, but the green slopes that way. So the green's kind of sloping away from me. Tony's pretty close, so I might play this a little bit differently than I would if it was stroke play, simply because I feel I have to make par at least at the worst. So I'm going to take my lob wedge, check out the lie here first. I'm going to try to play a little shot with the face a little bit open. I'm going to try to land it on the start of the green and get it to roll down in the hole. About like that. And got, got a kick to the right, though. So about three feet away. Not a bad shot from there. Pretty much straight. It could go a little left if I baby it.
Good birdie. So this is just for my practice and match play. You can still practice and hit an extra putt. So one up. I'm Tony got it back. He's one down. Going to the fifth hole, which is a nice par four. Yeah. One of the, the more difficult par fours out here. Uh, it's longer. It's a dog leg right. There's OB on the right, and it's it's uphill. So all those things combined make it a pretty tough drive. Is it kind of a cut hole or? Yeah, it's a cut hole. Um, you want to start it basically down the middle and just turn it. I don't want to be too close to the right because it's OB over there. And if you if you flinch, can can you can go through the fairway though too? You can. Yeah. Okay. You need to turn it. Okay. So a little bit of a fade type hole here. Tony's gonna have a little fade right about where the camera's lined up. There it is. Got a nice little That's cut. Nice little cut going there. So I'm going to pick a tree here. About where Tony did a little bit more to the right of that though. About two trees to the right. And what I do is when I'm setting up, uh, I have stand, my standard grip. I have the club here and square. And I'm just going to rotate the club just a couple degrees open. And then from there, I'm going to make my normal swing. And I'm going to line up where I want to hit it, where I want the ball to start. And so I need to see the face is going to be a little bit open through impact. I got myself aimed where I want to hit it with the face a little bit open. I hit it perfect. Nice. Was it enough cut? cut a bit. Hopefully there's enough cut. I killed that. So okay. we're both here inside the tree line. I got the insider tip. The whole place a little bit longer. Just left of the flag stick. So about the middle of the green. Good solid impact. Left the Slightly left center of the center of the left side of the green. Good shot. Green. Good shot. So it came up right next to the road. I'm going to get the distance first. They have 119 uh, to the flag and not a real nice area here uh, to drop it in but I have to I have to take a drop. There's some tree roots here and so I'm just going to try to find a spot here. I can drop it a club length uh, away from the hole uh, but without going closer so I can't really I'd like to drop it here uh, but there's a root there so I'm going to drop it so less than a club length, so I'm not going to measure and knee high. Oh, probably my worst drop of my life. <laughs> so I dropped it right into a little hole. The ball kind of rolled sideways. Uh, a third of the ball is below the surface. So I'm going to play the ball a little bit back in my stance. And I'm going to trust it's kind of soft here. Uh, I'm going to just trust that the club goes through there. And I'm going to favor being a little bit short of the green because of the lie and play a little bit back in my stance with my gap wedge. It came out low and right at it. Get up. Go in. So that came out really nice right at it. Yeah, there's certainly an advantage setting up on your impact plane and then swinging on a single plane. It just makes it easier to make good contact on shots on all shots, but especially from a bad lie. So mine's a little bit short, but right at it. I'm going to show you that. You see Tony turned out really in good shape also. So Tony has, looks like a little more than 30 feet, and I have about 15, it looks like. Looks like some slope on this green. Yeah, I've got about 35 feet, and it's a little bit downhill from here. And the putt should break just a hair to the right. Okay. So in this case, what I like to do is just see an area around the hole that I want it to roll it to. And a lot of times it falls in, but... Um, you want to just get it close. Three, point avo three putt avoidance here. Don't go crazy and make it. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it'll fall in.
<laughs> Good one. Tony with the long range birdie. You can hit mine too if you want. Oh, you're doing fine by yourself. I'm seeing a little bit left and my eyes are better than his, but he knows the course, so I don't know. Go that way. I have it going this way at the start. So I'm gonna play it at the right edge of the hole. Which my brain doesn't believe, but and try to get the speed. I have to make it. So I'm gonna give it a little bit extra here, more than I normally would in stroke play, just because it's make it or lose the hole. Almost. Almost. I broke a little bit and then it straightened out. I was right about the straight part, but I was wrong about which way it would tail. Yeah, it tailed a little bit off. But he won the hole, whatever tactics you need to use yeah. uh, so. to win the hole. So we skipped a hole due to slow play, and we're now on hole number nine here. Uh, and this is our sixth hole, I believe, and we're all even. Now this is a short par five, um, and you see the yardage you think you're going to eat it up but it's typical of Donald Ross he's going to have you hitting your second shot off a downhill eye to a straight uphill green and it's difficult so um, the hole goes just barely to the right I think you have two choices scream one down the right side which is probably what Kirk's going to do I'm going to play mine out more toward the middle and hit a little bit of a cut because I like to stay away from the trees as much as I can but Tony has the honor from the birdie on the last hole so right straight where the camera is aimed. Good. Yeah. Pulled it, but it's, it's going to be fine. So he's down the left side. It's cutting. It's cutting. Now, Should be in good shape. So I'm going to start it at that tall tree there and favor a little bit of a, just a little bit of a cut this time. So that means I'm going to have the clubs just slightly open here and I try to get a feel here for the swing. Again, setting up on my impact plane, and I swing it back and through on a one single plane. It's going to be really good, even though you didn't like it. Yeah, so I missed the middle of the face on that one. To say that it was a good miss. This is another benefit of set up rim pack. Your bad shots are pretty good. So I just missed it. I did a little bit low on the face there. Yeah. Mine doesn't have so. mine doesn't have slope. Yeah. Maybe I hit some. Well, it's a laser. I have exactly 200 really? to the flag. So I could sting a four iron up there. I think I'm going to go with the five wood. Reasoning being, um, the flag's on the front, and even if I don't reach. The pin slo the green slopes this way too. Pretty. pretty to the, whole, yeah. I, the trees are 90 percent air. Yeah. 10 percent of the point yard chip. Uh -oh. Start a little bit right. It's drawing in there. That's actually pretty good. Not bad. It's close to the green. It's right up there. Good shot. So a little bit downhill lie. And 181 to the flag. I'm going to go with the six iron. I hit it really good on the par. Too good on the second hole. Yeah, I try to get the feel for the downhill lie. Play the ball back my stance a little bit and stand a little bit more open. It's a hair thin, just right of the green. That's a difficulty. Normally, you have a six iron in, shouldn't be a problem. Uh, but it's downhill eye to an uphill green. Here. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to hit a perfect shot in there. I like to take a look at it 
Yeah, so it's really fast, this part of the green, and we're gonna favor the high side. And I'm looking at the graphs in here because I may be landing it short, so uh, the grain's kind of this way, so that's pretty favorable. So I may be hitting a chip and run up there. Not quite to the point where I could be potting it. I'm just not so sure about this turf here. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good for a chip shot. So I decide where do I want to land the ball. And I'm going to land it about 15 feet in front of me. So my goal is to land it in here. And then I'm going to let it roll up from there and hit a really low chip. I'm feeling like it's an iron, so I kind of go with my gut feeling here and then just execute a basic chip shot. Now that I have it planned out, especially from this really tight lie. And it's probably gonna go a little bit left when it bounces, so I'm gonna play it right of the hole. So that's the rehearsal, that's kinda, that's the swing I'm gonna make. And wherever it ends up, it ends up. Not even worried about. So that's about what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, it's really good. So he's hit it towards my ball, a little bit of open face, and he's gonna try to land it on the green. So it rolled about 10 feet past the hole. I didn't get that as high as I wanted it. So Tony for birdie, so about 10 feet. He's got a left to right putt. That's a short up the hill that had a good line. Kirk, that's good, so you're one up. So I'm one up, easy birdie. So we're on hole number 17 now. We skipped ahead uh, of multiple groups. And this is our eighth hole, and I'm one up. So we have a nice par four here. This is hole number 17. Uh, we skipped from hole number nine to here, as there seems to be a group on every hole. And uh, for filming, we need a little bit more space. Uh, this hole has a creek out there about 300 yards. I'm gonna hit a strong three wood uh, on this hole just so it doesn't run into the creek. And the hole's 424 yards long from here. Uh, so it's a pretty good par four. And I'm gonna try to get a feel with this club. Because I haven't hit it yet today. So I make a couple short practice swings, just focusing on where I wanna swing. I pick a target down there, a little bit on the left side of the fairway. It's a little bit off the toe, but it's on the left side of the fairway. Just really rolled far. It took a big bounce. It's over by the cart path. But it's a little bit off the toe, uh, so it drew a little bit. So we had a little break between the hole number nine and when we drove out to 17 here. So it's a good idea to get loosened up again. Uh, feel, we were both feeling a little bit tight, so make a few practice swings and get loosened up. Then he'll pick a target. Tony's sitting the driver here. Try to get up close to that creek. Oh, he smashed that. That's right in the right side. Get in the water. I don't think so. Oh, I better bring, bring the camera with. So 185. I'm going with a four iron. Tony's going to hit a four iron. Oh, that's a good shot. Get in. Get up. Get up. Oh, it's up there. Good shot. So I'm gonna drop it off the road. So I have 168. 
typically it's about an eight iron, uh, but it's a little bit uphill here. I want to keep the ball a little bit lower. So it's 168 yards to the pin, and I want to keep the ball a little bit lower here, just there's a few branches here since I had to drop off the road. I got unlucky, the ball bounced to, on the left side of the fairway. Uh, there's a little slope here and it went all the way across the road here and came up about 20 yards short of the water. So I had to drop here. I could have played it off the road, but I didn't want to damage my club. So what I'm going to do, uh, aim a little bit to the right side of the green and try to let the ball work a little bit to the left. So to do that, what I'm going to do uh, is take my normal grip here where the club face is square and from there I'm just going to turn the club just a couple degrees closed with my hands in the same position here and then from there I'm going to just aim to the right side of the green and just make a normal golf swing. And I'm going to hit this about from the feeling about three quarters of a swing. So it hooked a little bit more than I wanted to and ended up in the bunker. So I ended up down in the bunker. I took a little bit too much off the seven. I thought withdrawing it that it would go a little bit farther. And so here, I'll typically, here out of the sand, outside the bunker, take a couple practice swings, try to practice the swing that I'm gonna make out of the sand. And I've never hit this wedge, so it's a brand new 54 degree wedge from Volke. And I think it should work quite well. I'm going to look for a spot about three or four inches, four inches behind the ball. And I'm just going to fix my sights on that and just make a good swing and hit that spot. Go. So it came out pretty good, about eight to ten feet short. I can make that for my paw, which I need to. That's good. Okay. So I'm gonna hit it straight, straight at the hole. It seems to be a little bit into the grain. I'm just gonna try to hit it right against the flag stick. This is where I like to leave the flag stick in and just try to hit it right against. So sandy par. So one up into the last hole. So here we're finishing. I'm one up going into our last hole and we're finishing on a par five. Uh, it's deceptively a little bit short of 500 yards, but the problem is I can't hit driver off the tee. And the pond is 200 and, what is it, 280? 280 to the pond. And so I'm gonna hit the three wood again if I can hit it in the middle of the face this time. And I'm going to aim at the cart path in the distance there. So I pick the target. So that was a rocket. That was really good. Hopefully not too good. Perfect. So if you ever get a chance uh, to join us in Sanford or come to one of Tony's one day schools, it's a great venue here, a fun course to play. You want to really have enough time so you can play the golf course as well, which we do in the three day school. Uh, but for the one day school, just make an extra day of it and uh, play the golf course because it's well worth it. You guys can always, if you have any comments or questions, put, put them in the box below and Tony and I both are answering questions on here. So we'll see how we come out here last hole of the day for all the money. Okay, so Tony has what, 214? 219. 219. I'm gonna hit three wood because it's uphill. Just kind of go at it or just left. 
Oh, he striped it. Right at it. Right at it. Great shot. He looks like he's got an eagle putt, folks. Well, I have 197 and I got a four iron. A little bit downhill, side hill lie. So I'm going to try to hit a little bit of a cut just to go with the lie and really try to just play it a little bit back in my stance and hit it up there. So a little bit left off the lie, about 35 yards to the flag, and I got it close because Tony's got about six feet, it looks like, uh, for eagle. So that's why I pushed with the four iron there from the downhill lie, and I tried to be a little bit more aggressive than I would have been. And so I got to get this really close, make sure I can make birdie, because he's got a pretty good shot at eagle. So I'm going to try to hit a really low pitch here. Get up, get up, get up, get up. So I got a little pot at birdie, about 10 feet. So Tony's through, it's about six feet from the hole. I have about 10 feet left for my birdie. So I'm going to have to put the pressure on him here. You need to make this. Just trying to get a feel with the practice swing. Straight back, square right at the hole. We'll try to visualize visualize it going in. Oh. Wow. Ouch. That one hurt, man. Okay. Show us an eagle. Inside right, little firm. Good job. Thank you. Good job. So it was fun playing a few holes with you all watching. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the box below. And just remember, setting up on your impact plane makes the game easier. And that's our goal make the game as easy as possible for the fastest improvement. Mm -hmm.